and welcome to part two of John Fly doing the Boeing 767 from Flight Factor, um, a leg from Salt Lake City to Las Vegas. And if you did not catch part one, I highly recommend going back and choosing part one of this video. You can see all of the um, procedural mistakes that I made and have pleasure in correcting me. Hope you learned something. I certainly have. Every flight, I seem to learn something new with this uh, with this aircraft. So, here we are. Uh, we got a nose up attitude. So I think the FMC is trying to maintain a certain speed, uh, but yet keep an altitude. So uh, we're a little bit slower than I anticipated. I may switch to. Well, there we're making our turn. Uh, on the Grandpa One, Grandpa John One arrival. I did a custom change to the arrival, as uh, is noted in uh, part one of this uh, of this video. So, a quick look outside again. Lake Mead in the background, coming into Las Vegas in the United Paint by Cranky, Cranky 65, Cranky Liveries. Alright, so we are at 10,700 feet. We better do some lights. We got landing lights on. Looks good. Yeah, we're coming in a little bit slow. I may take over the speed. Take that up to 2.30. So now we're going to increase our speed a little bit. Not sure why we got so slow. May have done something wrong there. So we are supposed to cross Dublix. And again, so right here is my CDU. And I showed you earlier in part one how I put this on my uh, iPad. So it's just this address right up here. It's your IP address colon 18387. And that will get you to the CDU. So Dublix, we are two miles from Dublix. We're supposed to be there at 9,000. Looks like we're going to make that. Coming up to Prino, which is the init initial approach fix on our slope. So we'll bring up air server. Air server went a little wonky there. That's okay. As you can see here, we're on the the ILS for 25 left in Vegas Oops Sometimes get task saturated We'll be making the turn at Prino. Here in just a moment. All 
And we'll slow our speed down. A tad here. We'll go ahead and click on loc. We've got a loc lock going on here. Go ahead and put in some flaps. We'll line up here for 2.5 left. Gear is not down quite yet. Oh, I love those flybys. Now we're going into lost wages. I need to study up on what my speeds should be. I do have a chart here that says um, my flaps one should be at VREF plus 30. So on here, my VREF is 135 plus VREF 30. VREF 30 is 125. So plus 80. So 205 should be my flaps one. So I'm about right for flaps one. I did go to flaps 10 though. Uh, VREF plus 60 is flaps 5. Okay, it's good to know. VREF plus, VREF 30 flaps plus, oh sorry, VREF speed at 30 degrees, 125 again, plus 40 is flaps 15 or 20. So, at Laurie because I forgot to descend. So we're going to have to put some boards out. I think my MCP speed had to be uh, lowered below the 9000. So we'll try to get her down here in time. We'll decrease our auto throttle. We may not make it. So lesson learned right there. Um, we're coming up to Shand. At Shand, we're supposed to be at 4,900. So yeah, we're uh, we're coming in hot. That was my bad. But every time we learn. Gears down. Speed is looking a little better. We're at 20 on the flaps. As soon as we get down a little bit more. Now we're getting pretty slow. Go ahead and put in more flaps. We're losing the uh, ILS just a little bit there because I put the speed a little bit too slow.
Okay. We're about 150. We're a little bit fast, but we'll stay at this speed. Take a look at how we look on the outside. Flaps are down, spoilers up, gear down. We could probably arm our speed brakes at this point. We'll go up here to auto brake four, lower our speed a little bit here. We're looking pretty good. Probably forgetting something, but landing lights are on. We have a landing three green. Uh, just in case we missed it, we will do a Missed approach of climb to 3,100, uh, then a climbing right turn to 7,000, and we'll go direct to BLD, which is Boulder, Vortac, and hold, and continue climb and hold to 7,000. And we'll contact Las Vegas approach, tell them we went missed. All right, our 30 knot speed is supposed to be about 125. Caution, terrain. Caution, terrain. Caution, terrain. Caution, terrain. Caution, we have a terrain caution. Terrain. Caution, 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 terrain. That's a little bit of a bug. I wonder how we turn that off. That's probably not a bug. We just don't know how to turn it off. Other than click that. All right, speed at 140. We're a little higher than uh, VREF 30 degrees, but we're going to land. A little bit of a hard landing, but that's okay. We'll take a high speed taxi. Uh, maybe we'll go full length, just to say we went full length in Vegas.
So we'll clean up the aircraft a little bit here. Leave our taxi lights on. Hmm. The brakes aren't working in this. I gotta work on my braking. Because that's like full brakes. With the parking brake on. And we're like, like doing runway violations and everything. <laughs> so that, yeah, need to do a little bit of learning on that uh, braking after landing. In fact, what I need to do is I need to map my reversers. So when I get down, I can flip on the reversers slow a lot uh, slow a lot uh, slow down a lot faster that'll get me into regular braking mode which I'm in now <laughs> alright well there we are uh, Las Vegas um, we'll go ahead and do a uh, a taxi up here on Bravo and uh, and then to the terminal So. Sorry about that poor ending to our landing, but we got down. It was a hard landing, partly because um, the slope that we were coming on kind of stopped, and then we were kind of hovering there. All right, so let's turn. Yeah, it looks like auto brakes are need to go to off. That's what I maybe need to do. Seem to have lost my uh, throttle. There we go. All right, so I need to turn the auto throttle off. I thought when I disengaged the autopilot earlier that that would kind of shut off, but we're learning. So we're going to taxi down Bravo. Actually, we'll go ahead and we'll go to Whiskey because we'll go to the B gates. Since I already passed Bravo. <laughs> yeah, so whenever I say there's a possible bug, it's not necessarily the case. It's probably more related to me not doing a procedure correctly. Um, so, again, please, in the comments below, Give me a tip or two or three about what I could do better to make this flight, uh, uh, you know, work better. What's the flow? What's the correct flow? I'm certainly learning. This is probably my fifth or sixth flight in this aircraft. Uh, definitely my first on uh, on YouTube in the tutorial mode. That is. So we're coming up into the B gates here on Whiskey. And normally the heavies probably don't park here, but we're taking our uh, VIP privilege to park wherever we want to. Got our navs and strobes on because we can. All right, this looks like a good gate to turn into. Oh, we missed that one, so we'll go up to this one. Hopefully we stop. Not exactly lined up very well. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of a weird uh, 
gate landing here in Vegas. We'll crush the tow truck a little bit. But you get the idea. So there we are. Thanks for joining us. Uh, parking brake is set. <laughs> Thanks for joining that uh, leg from Salt Lake City down to Vegas in the Boeing 767 from Flight Factor. Hope you uh, learned a thing or two. I certainly have every time I fly it. And again, I'm not uh, a professional, and this is a brand new aircraft, so feel free to criticize away in the comments below. Take care. Oh, one more thing. Go to twitch.tv slash johnfly, J-O-N-F-L-Y, as you can see in the banner below. Also, twitch.tv forward slash Josh J. Gibbs, uh, the guy who kind of taught me um, a lot about streaming and how to uh, entertain. Thanks, Josh. See ya.